Hello everyone, I'm Tabitha Evans. Today, I'll be summarizing Module 6 of Anna Bay's School of Affluence, The Seven-Step Formula to High Society. I already summarized part one of this module that was on presentation strategy. You can check out the video after you watch this one. I'll put a link to it in the description. This part is about online image strategy. It's about how you present yourself online and whether or not it's even worth it to have an online presence. Okay, so in this module, she talks about the pros and cons of being on social media. Two pros that were mentioned are that you can grow your social circle by getting to know people online and also that you can create an affluent image of the way that you want people to perceive you. The cons, well, some people just don't respect someone who posts a lot on social media about their personal lives. So if you're in like the affluent community or you're trying to get into it and you're posting like too much of your business out there, people may not take you seriously. It's really important to create a classy image online. One tip that was given is that you should Google yourself. Let's really Google your name and see the kind of results that you get. If there's anything bad on there that maybe you posted yourself in the past, or if someone has posted something bad about you, you can, if it's your own material, delete it. If it's someone else who has posted something bad about you, you can write to the person and ask them to take it down. If you have terrible photos of you on Facebook or on Instagram or any other social media platform, delete it. Anything that can make you look bad. Things like drunk photos, maybe you have a photo of you drinking a beer with a beer bottle in your hand like no absolutely not delete that the things that you should keep on social media or online are the classy photos of you smiling of you having a good time of you on vacation things like that things that reflect well on you that make you look classy and elegant about your profile photos on your social media accounts you should have something classy and neutral don't be overly sexy and definitely no half-naked photos of yourself on the beach or, or by the pool half-naked and looking really, you know, vulgar. Like, no. Keep it classy, keep it neutral, keep it cute and smiling. Don't overshare your personal life on social media or online. Unless it's absolutely necessary as a career. Like if you're an influencer or something like that. Another thing that you should pay close attention to is writing properly. Like, you know when you post a picture on Instagram, you post a little caption under sometimes? When you post a picture, make sure that you don't have any spelling errors. Make sure that you don't say something incorrectly, like with the bad grammar. When you're posting your captions or writing on social media or online, try not to use too many emojis or be too overly dramatic don't use too many exclamation marks and don't use too many like question marks or strange emojis don't use slang just try to talk in regular english okay <laughs> another tip that was given is that you should never ever like ever <laughs> never use social media when you've had too much to drink just avoid it okay shouldn't be drinking in too much in the first place but if you're a little tipsy don't go on Instagram don't go on Facebook don't write an angry blog post no stay away from online drama don't get involved in it you can literally just ignore the good thing about being online is that you can ignore people you can also block people so instead of uh, you know like screaming in all caps with a bunch of exclamation marks and uh, getting into a fight or an argument online that's just going to destroy your image just no no just block delete ignore and don't be too emotional when you are online don't be too emotional when you post things on facebook or on instagram just try to keep your emotions in check the emotions that you want to show are the emotions of being happy with you smiling and do not upset or angry you know like no just try to keep it calm keep it neutral and be happy yeah that's it so next time i will do another short summary and 
I hope you found this very valuable and uh, if you did please like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any more of my summaries like this bye no bye oh no 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 bye and see you soon oh if you're still here you should definitely check out the other videos in this playlist right here yeah that's just all of the summaries I ever did on the School of Affluence. You can just binge watch that right now. Right here.